This pineapple is unique in that if you look over here, the plant is actually growing downward out of this big pot. And it meant that the pineapple itself was hanging upside down for most of its time here on this planet. And um, if you look at the back side, which was hanging in the shade, it's a lot greener than the front side. And that's why I put this bucket underneath it just a, about a, a week ago because I'm trying to get the back side uh, to look as yellow as the front side. It started yellowing up here and then it, for most of the time it was green, half of it was green. And that's because it was hanging upside down in the dark down in here. And so I've lifted it up and uh, but you can see there's still a little bit of green on that other side. But I think this is probably the best we can do. It also has, you can see these little suckers sticking out of the base. The suckers are what you use to replant pineapples later on. Um, they'll usually be growing somewhere on the plant. They'll be suckers sometimes out of the base of the plant, maybe here, or we can take these ones too. And you just take these off and stick them in the dirt somewhere. And if you're in a warm tropical climate with a lot of rain, they should eventually take root and grow into full-size pineapple plants. Um, you can also use the top here. I wouldn't use this top though because as you can see, being that it was hanging upside down, this top is L-shaped. If you use a pineapple top, it's going to take longer. It might take uh, a year and a half to two years after you plant the top to get a pineapple out of it. And the pineapple might be pretty small. But if you use a sucker from somewhere else on the plant, um, such as we could try one of these, and uh, you, if you plant one of these, they'll grow faster, maybe a year to a year and a half, and you'll get a full-size pineapple like this one. And in a minute, I'll show you another pineapple that is a lot smaller than this, and it was grown from a top like this. But anyway, I'm going to take off these suckers and I'll replant them and then I'm going to snip this pineapple and we'll take it inside and, and look at it. Here's the pineapple, uh, what it looked like before I put the bucket underneath it. As you can see, the top side here is yellow and then the side in the dark down here has stayed pretty green. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and we'll pull off those suckers too. You can see the suckers on the back. And then the bent top. It's kind of funny looking. This small pineapple is growing out of this pot. And this was planted from the top of another pineapple. The top was pulled off. And as you can see, it, the pineapple itself that has sprouted from this is only about the size of an apple, maybe. And it's gotten quite ripe, so we're going to snip this off today and take it inside. Again, you can see in the back where it's been slightly darker against the wall, it's still a little bit green on that side. And the side that's in the full sun, um, as you can see, is a little bit riper. But anyway, we'll go ahead and we'll cut this one off and take it inside because it's quite ripe. 